Hello, hello, hello. Um, oh, right. We had those Logitech camera issues, so we gotta add back in. At source. Harumph. That's ah, massive. And pointed in the wrong direction. Professionalism at work. Sorry, I was just finishing up a pet battle. So let's just get this pet rescued. I think I have it already mythic, so it's not important, but I'm just gonna finish that real quick. And then we'll switch over to our actual game today. Um, Emma Lost in Memories. So. But yeah, we're just rescuing a leaf at. Are they? Um, what about just turning off low latency? I know that sucks, but like, as an alternative, it might work better. Yeah, do we already have leaf? Do we already have leafette done? I don't need any more leafettes. Okay, let's switch to actually what we're playing. So yeah, we did yesterday. We did Potata yesterday. Today we're doing Emma Lost in Memories. Uh, thank you to Jandu Soft and Sandbloom Studio for the key for two days um, stream. Um, if you're gonna change off low latency, it would be settings. Um, what are you watching on? If you're watching on like an iPad, there might be like a gear or something. Um, we are streaming Emma Lost in Memories, new puzzle platformer game developed by Sandbloom Studio and published by Jean Dussoft. So, puzzle platformer though, those are always fun. I'm gonna turn down the volume a little on my TV, and we're gonna get started. Yeah, I, I would guess that. had a rough couple of days our memory is our coherence our reason our feeling even our action without it we are nothing controls slide climb jump wall jumps double jump these are simple controls to start press a no don't leave Where have you gone? This is Emma. To make her move, press A. To finish the level, you only need to get to the end and go through the yellow light. Jump. Okay. So stuff goes away as I touch it. Okay. Okay. There is double jumping. We messed up.
Yeah, I realized that's what I had to do. Okay, so part of the puzzle is going to be figuring out what starts going away first. So you want to play, huh? A sword! Ready or not, here I come. Or is that a feather? The purple feathers are optional. If you pick enough of them up, you can unlock additional stuff. It was a feather. The adventure begins. You completed all levels from the tutorial. What was that? Did I get robbed? I have no idea. So, okay. Hills one. Theft. First of many. You got a feather. Continue. believe it. And we got another feather. Definitely just got to figure out the puzzle. You know, puzzle out how to get through the levels. D-pad also works for the, the control stuff of climbing and whatnot, so... But, I don't know, this is fun so far. I really like this idea. I thought I'd lost you. Oh no, I didn't want to get this far away. Okay, so you can't double jump off of a wall. Except for the first time. Interesting. That's what I gotta do. Not that.
not that. So, Dan, are you here? We've got to talk about some stuff. Because you have questions for me and I didn't get to answer them yet. So I figured it'd be easier for me to vocalize my responses than to... You know... Any other way. Okay, so, number of achievements. I don't have a set idea of how many it should be. Um, I'm fine with um, 20, I'm fine with 30. In terms of time, um, at this point, really, there's not any event, I think, coming up. So, as a result, I'm fine with this kind of being until Bean Dive even starts. And as a result, like, if we go, like, super difficult on stuff, like, it's cool by me. Um, you know, we can do it within reason, but, like, I'm cool with the idea that, you know, I have to go further in games. That answer all the questions. Okay, that's... Oh, sure. Um, July. Like, begin... End of June, beginning of July. So we could put, like, a month... So yeah, what do we want to say, you know, just give it a month? I'm fine with that. Yeah, no, I know that's bean dive day, but I know that bean diving starts sooner than that. Like, it's usually the week before and the week after that day. I'm missing something. what I'm supposed to do. I think I just went a little too high. Okay. Too late that time.
Really? That's what we were aiming for. <laughs> I don't know, are we putting stakes on this one? I feel like if I put that kind of incentive, you know, there's incentive for you then to completely give me the worst list ever created by anyone. And make it 30 achievements long. <laughs> um we're st we're still only about halfway. <laughs> fine with whatever was put on it, you know, I just, you know, I haven't really thought about a stakes question. Okay, so obviously Joe wants Quantum Break. Um, <sighs> Let's see, I'll pull up the Wall of Shame. So yeah, Joe's big one was Quantum Break. Um, Ray had a few, quite a few games. I don't know what you want to do about these. She put King's Quest, Owlboy, Oxenfree, Fee, and the Swapper. Ross had put Monster Hunter as a joke, but, you know, it's, uh... <laughs> and Guacamelee 2. I will gladly... Okay.
They're all on the wall. Um, I have my own suggestions, but tell me how many games we're up to after the wall gives you a start. It's kind of like an auto runner. Um, you hit A to start, and then you have um, some very basic platforming abilities. Um, you got a double jump, a slide dash. No! That was the right way to do it, though. Um, so, uh, you start off, you hit A to go. Then you can jump, double jump, and slide. Each level has a feather. Um, they're kind of like a bonus. Oh, and you also have a wall climb. Yeah, I guess you could say that. That's not the way to do that, though. But yeah, you just auto-run. Like, I'm not moving. But as soon as you touch a surface, um... Yeah, I wasn't... I, I don't want any unstarted games. So, that's fine. Yep. I think all the games suggested on the pile or on the wall were not were started. I think. Although it's possible one or two of them might not have been. I don't remember. Still, where, where does that put us, I guess, is the question. Okay, yeah, um... Let me look through the others, and I'll tell you if I started them. I started Monster Hunter. I know that. Um, I started Fee. I started Inside. We started Owlboy. Um, the only question is that I start the Swapper. I did not start Swapper, so I guess don't put Swapper in there. And hello, all the people coming from Dopey Stream. And yes, um, in terms of those, I guess I still can. We can put Unravel Thief and Serial Cleaner. I've got you, you can't run away. Okay. No, the bird obviously can't. It's not fair. I'll show you. Come <laughs> on. 
Hello, I'm trying to climb that wall. The climbing mechanic is not always the most sensitive, I'll be honest. Um, I've definitely had a few runs where I felt like I should be able to climb and it's just not, it's eating my input. I don't know if that's like something I'm not understanding about the climbing mechanic. But like, if I'm holding up, I would expect it to work. Maybe I have to re-engage up? Yeah. Tempo caught me off guard there. That is a quick disintegration there. So yes, for everybody just joining, this is Emma, Lost in Memories. Uh, the game came out to Thursday. Um, it's a little puzzle platformer. Pretty simple uh, setup here. Um, you push A. Hey, we got another achievement. Memories away from home. You got all the feathers from the hills. Means I also completed this area for the first time, I'm guessing. And we also got the achievement, Dodging Debt. You completed the last level from the hills without dying. That's not true. I definitely died. But sure, I'll take it. Uh, did I freeze the game? Uh, so yeah, uh, promo though for, um, you know, I'll just push the button. The button makes more sense. Yeah, we're streaming to Emma, Lost in Memories. It's a puzzle platformer developed by Sandbloom and published by Jean Dussoft. Um, they provided the key for today's stream. Um, I think it froze. Okay, we're just going to reload the game. That's okay. Um, it's it's a fun little game. It's on sale right now. Um, I don't know if this is going to tell us anything. That is not even remotely close. Not even sorta kinda. I have other set? Why did that happen? I definitely went over to, I, like, I put it on Emma to begin with. That is so weird. I used my normal, I used my stream button to set the info, and I had that set. That's the weird part. Okay, first interlude. Okay.
Mountains won. They took away. Oh, wait, do I not have double jump right now? Ah, they got rid of my... A jump, it looks like. Margin on that jump is definitely a little bit closer than I was hoping, but okay. Once again, I hit that jump, that spot. Gotta just clear the pillar, but hit, but not hit the other spot. <sighs> this has been fun, though. I, I do like the, uh, I like the idea that it's, it's more just like a few, the, the platforming's a little less, it, oh, poo. Um, and it's more about, you know, the, um, figuring out what you should be doing. That's how that's supposed to work. Feathers actually do provide a pretty good puzzle to element to it. So. But yeah, it's on sale right now. I think it's normally supposed to be like eight bucks. But it's on sale currently for six seventy nine. So what? That's twenty percent off or something. Numbers. Okay. So go up. Duh, 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 fall down to there. Okay. I know what I have to do. It's the same principle as what I'm doing to get the feather. So the question is... Dan, how much are we up to? Oops. And how many more games should I suggest? Three. 
Oh, okay. I just wasn't sure if you wanted, like, uh, you know, me to give a num or other stuff. Like, I wasn't sure if you were up to 20 games at all yet, and was gonna say, like, hey, do you need me to, to pat out that number or what? Is there a quicker way to restart levels? Doesn't appear to be. And that's what I was going to say, is, like, if you wanted to go, um, okay. I just do that. This is easy. It really just becomes about me doing that. Eh, it was still a little. missing here. But yeah, if you're going to put Chariot, we're about halfway. Um, on the speed runs. I think out of the 25 levels, I got like 11 or 12 gold medaled. limits to the uh... <laughs> you're sick of it too <laughs> oh man Hmm. 
if anything, could you put the rich mahogany one if you're going to do gems? Um... It's not that I will not do Jeff, like, Jeff is in the cards, but, um, Jeff has been something I've said I was going to do. I've actually got, I want to make that achievement the one I get on, Sorry, I've got to look up the date on this one. I want to get it in August. True. Um, my goal is to make that the achievement I get for my six-year um, achievement streak. Let's just clear the level the first time. That sounds like a good idea. And then we'll figure out the feather. Because I think I know how to beat this level now. Um, almost. I mean, I will say that at least for Jeff, I kind of need to light a fire <laughs> in a sense to start getting the, uh, the medals I need. But, you know, that's not going to be interesting. So that's how you do the level, but how do you get the feather? Because when I do that, I trigger the next level above. Unless that's the point. No. Because you can't drop off. Have an idea. <laughs> Not quick enough. middle platform just disintegrates too slow. I feel like it ha that second platform disintegrates slowly for a reason. Yeah. 
Maybe that? Every piece matters, that's the thing. No piece on this usually doesn't have a purpose to like, use. And if we're kinda, uh, nope. Just to make sure everybody can see what's going on. So there's the full level. Um, so obviously the feather's right there at the start. Um, the proper way to do the level is, or at least to get the, to the end, is this. So, not too bad. But every method I try to get the feather doesn't seem to work. Because you can't switch directions as far as I can tell. And anytime I get the feather first thing, I bonk my head. And start the disintegration on the next platform. Hmm. Anybody got an idea? Anybody see something that I'm obviously missing here? I don't like that idea. You're not wrong. But I don't like it. I don't like skipping a collectible that I can obviously, you know, try to go for. Hmm, what if I try this? Not that. I wonder, that might work. 
Nope, that's not gonna work. I've got an idea in my head, I just don't think it's practical. This ice wall evaporates quicker than the the, the, the platform. That just evaporates it too much. Unless that's the point. I don't know, like... I just had it that time. No, not that. That's definitely not it. be so much easier with the double jump again. Hey, that's better. That works. You just got to be really fast. Sure. Okay, let's bring back the camera. But yeah, this is definitely more of a puzzle game than a strict platformer. I like that. It's, it's been fun. Okay, so we run to the end. We climb up, climb up, climb up, climb up. Fall. How the flip am I going to get the feather? <laughs> I'm barely faster than the platform to begin with, let alone after it starts disintegrating. 
Or did I just find a really easy way to cheese this level? Is it possible? Nope, not like that. Can you grip the side of a little platform like that? I don't know if the game's letting me, but I'm gonna try. Nope, it's not gonna let me. Like, here's the crazy part. Like, if I can get into there, then what's stopping me from getting to the exit from there? Because it looks like I would have to. Like, if this is making any sense, um, and I'm not just talking, like, straight silly, um, the feather is in this final section. The way I see it would be, like, you'd have to jump across the top platforms to get to the exit. But... That doesn't exactly make sense either. And those spikes at the tops of those are going to prevent me from making a weird jump that would help me get by. Like, they've definitely thought out any methods that you could try to screw with what they want you to do. <laughs> what makes this game harder is the fact that like you don't have control it's the lack of control that makes this more puzzle than anything else
getting frustrated. <laughs> I wouldn't throw this poor, poor controller across any room. Never would that happen. Too important of a controller, too expensive a controller. <laughs> What am I missing here? Besides everything. And that works for getting the level done. <laughs> Bonking my head on there. Like, hello. Like, that doesn't work. That seems way too complicated. Could that actually be the solution? Ew. <sighs> not that. That's not the solution.
I don't know. I'm just kind of just spitballing ideas here, by the way. <laughs> There's nothing that tells me this is the right way to do it. <laughs> but I want to see kind of if I can set off a weird chain reaction of ideas. But first, I guess I need to find out if I can do this. No, I can't. Not enough time to do... Uh, actually... Actually... If I do it this way... That could do something. Do a double jump there. Boom. Still short a step or two. I don't even know what this is supposed to accomplish, to be honest, right now. So, like I said, this is just, like, bad spitballing of ideas. Okay, let's not get rid of that one. You know what? Do I still want to... Do I want to get rid of that one? No, but I think this is kind of telling me what I need to do. I do have an idea. I think I still need to trigger that column there. Jump like this. Boom. Go up and over, up and over. Then we're going to climb this one. Okay. I do need to start climbing that one, though, I think. Almost. I don't know if that's still right. Am I even going to be able to climb up anywhere? <laughs> like, that's the silly part. Like, I'm doing this and I have no idea if this is actually going to give me a way to get back up. What I need to find out is if... Okay, so this one's kind of a lost cause pillar. I can't use it for anything. So the question becomes... Can I use... That one to kind of jump far enough? Yeah, I think I should be able to jump from the third pillar from the right all the way over to the farthest right pillar. So is it possible this whole level is...
started from getting the feather to start. Timing on all these jumps is what's getting me now. <laughs> We've got it. We've got the the process. Now it's just an execution game. <laughs> Casey, what's with the faces? Use words with me, please. Tell me what's on your mind. I know it isn't. I don't, I'm not a full-time Zelda streamer. I just race a lot. platforming the other thing I do a lot on stream <laughs> come on <laughs> I know what I have to do the new mixer emojis are I'm definitely not a a super fan of them that's for sure okay I've got to jump off that one probably sooner than I've been thinking Yeah, I see the old emojis when you did it, but no, I know what you mean. They're a little uh, goofy looking. I don't know what it is about them. Too early. 
But yes, we're promoing um, Emma Lost in Memories this this afternoon. Um, uh, we got a key from. I don't know if it was the developer or publisher this time. You know, it's not usually one of my normal, like it's not like it's Rattleaka or some or sometimes you providing the key today. It looks like it was still the publisher though. Um, the listing on the site I use does list Jandu Soft, so they might have provided the key for today. Um, but it's this is a fun little puzzle platformer game. Difficult. We're on level. 15 of what appears to be uh, about 50 levels. Um, the first world was pretty simple, I'd say. We've been, uh, we kind of rushed through those, but we're on level five of the second set. And we're going a little slower. Um, finishing the level hasn't been difficult. But also getting the feathers have been a little more complicated. Um, but yeah, it's, this is more puzzle game than platformer for me, and I, I, I like the, the mix of it. Um, it's currently on sale, I believe it is 15 or 20% off, um, normally $8, but it's just under 7 right now, uh, of course, to your local equivalents. But it's definitely a good challenge of... Oops. Um, a good challenge of oops, or a good mix of oops. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's definitely... You know, I like platformers more usually, but I'm definitely digging the, the mix of the two sides. You know what, let's just get the level complete first. Or at least try to. Like, if you could just figure out the timing for everything, this wouldn't be super difficult to figure out. Or even write, like, a... I'm not the kind of person who would do this, but, like, if you were into recording macros for stuff, you could easily record a pretty basic macro to do every level. Like, once you've got... Because there's very easy set times to start. Like, my first A press is the start. And if you just had the timing down for every level, easy. Like, all the timing is actually very repeatable. It doesn't appear that the game, like, has missed timings, which is always, like, one of those things you got to be really wary of. It 
it doesn't seem now that I understand the climbing I'm less peeved about it um, like in the first world I kind of complained about it eating my climbing inputs but I'm realizing how it works now um, it's not just something you can hold up the whole time you actually have to re-engage it when you're moving to the next one So, that's not bad. So there's at least the level completed. That's not the way to do that. That's not either. I can tell that much. Yeah, unfortunately, like, I know people probably want to see a better mix of streams from me. I just, we're at that point where it's like doing the races has been a lot of fun. So, like, it's been either promo or race instead of, like, my traditional, like, mix of games. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, I get that. It's just like... I don't know. There's part of me that still goes, you know? Eh, I don't know. That wasn't the right way. That's not either. Yeah, I just, I don't like the fact that I have this pile of promo sit sitting and I'm like trying to play catch up. And what I need to do is I need to do a better job of doing it during the week, probably. Okay, I do have one complaint, I think. Too minimalistic on the sound. Hmm. 
I do wish there was maybe some kind of music or something instead of just the sounds for jumping and dying and collecting stuff. I think I have an idea. Of how to get the feather and get to the exit. Actually, this might be better. Ah, there we go. Woo! 16 levels done properly. Stop for a moment. At least tell me where we're going. Goodbye, Mr. Owl. That level seemed a little too easy. Zero. Zero improperly done levels. We have gotten the feathers on every level. We have not taken the easy road out of them. Hmm. I think I've got the right idea here. I always think I've got the right idea, though. <laughs> I am nothing if not an egotistical monster at times. I had the right idea. 18. Whoa! Look at this mess of a level.
No, we don't have to do that jump. This feather seems a little easier than the others, though. After levels 14, 15, and 16 were so difficult, I'm kind of surprised with kind of how the... These have kind of dropped a little bit on the difficulty. Okay, no, that's not going to work, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. By the way, I wish I could sh I should show the button for bonking. I did create a button for the bonk. Um and it is actually bonk the character. And I'm sure most people are like, "What's a bonk?" Who is a bonk? Cuz most people don't remember that system. Why did I do that? But I was reminded to think about Bonk because um, Indie Gamer Chick is reviewing the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. <laughs> I know this one is probably easier, Dan. I just am I'm failing miserably. So yeah, um, Indie Gamer Chick is reviewing the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Um, my childhood was quite a bit of TurboGrafx. Like, I played a ton of TurboGrafx as a kid. Um, and apparently it's becoming available soon. Um, so I pre-ordered one and it's supposed to be arriving next week. So I am like... Super stoked. Um, so many hours spent on the Turbo Graphics. Oops, we messed up there. No? Are we saying the, the ones that went in the system originally? Like, I had a bunch of those. I'm up here. Aha, that's how you do it. Mountains nine. They, they look just like the little turbo graphics cards I do not have any of these but I mean I do remember those cards kind of like I didn't have any of the ROMs like that but I definitely had I had the legit games 
I also had the uh, the portable, which at the time we also had the um, the TV unit for it. Um, it had like this little adapter that could um, pick up TV channels. No, 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 no. Um, oh, I'll have to find it because... It was called the Turbo Express. And I actually found an image that's perfect. Yeah, the Turbo Express, and it had a TV tuner as well. So we have the Turbo Graphics with the Turbo Duo disk drive, and then I had um, the Turbo Duo or the Turbo Express. Um, I had the Game Gear. I don't. And I had a Genesis, but I didn't have any other... Like, I had the Dreamcast towards the end. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't have that. I definitely did not have the Nomad. That... I don't know if that sounds good. Like, it sounds neat. <laughs> okay, I had I had the Game Gear. <coughs> okay, I had a Game Gear. Um, and that's the problem, is the Game Gear ate batteries like there was nobody's business. The idea that you would have a nomad doing full Genesis games of that era and not kill batteries. Like, the big problem with the Genesis was you couldn't even finish most games on a single set of batteries that were brand new. Exactly. I had a Game Boy, and that those lasted forever. You could play one, you know, you could play tons of Game Boy stuff. Not to mention the fact that a lot of the Game Boy cards actually saved progress, and Genesis stuff just didn't. Like, any game on the Genesis, you'd pretty much be starting from scratch, at least the ones that mattered. Oh yeah. Uh the ex the Turbo Express I believe was 4 though. It wasn't as bad. So, but yeah, I pre-ordered my uh Turbo Graphics Mini. I was like, yeah, we want that. I am a sucker for nostalgia. Like, I don't have I have a lot of good memories of, like, a Genesis, but the thing is, is, like, I just don't think I care as much about those games, because a lot of the ones that I'd want from the Genesis era just got, you know, how many ports are there of Super, or of Sonic the Hedgehog? out there like if you want a genesis game you can probably find it on modern consoles easily um 
Whereas, like, at least at the time, like, when the SNES Mini came out, there was a lot of games on it. I was like, oh my gosh, I want that. Um, and kind of the same with the Turbo Graphics. Like, there are very limited places where you can find those. So. But yeah. There is a chance we'll stream some of those. Some classic Turbo Graphics games. We've almost got this one. I remember a lot of stinkers in the Turbo Graphics stuff, but man, a lot of fun ones. Oops. Exactly. It, it, you know, it just lost. Unfortunately, it's in some ways, it's like a dream cast of its era. If I'm being honest. That's the only bad thing when you think about it. Like, you look at all the old cartridge stuff, and it's just like the battery. You don't re. That's like the thing. Oops. I never had Atari or the Jaguar or any of theirs. It's interesting. Like, I don't know. Everybody talks about, like, some of those ones the true classics, and I'm just like, I never had it. <laughs> Definitely before my time. Okay, so we did reach the peak. You completed all levels from the mountains. Another achievement, memories at the peak. Got all the feathers from the mountains. We also got Fleeing Death, completed the last level of the mountains without dying, apparently. I don't know, because I died on that level a few times. I don't think the achievements are really correct. <laughs> my first achievement was for dying in the tutorial. Oh my god. Oh, the shame. The shame. <laughs> okay. So what's the rest of the achievements look like? Complete all levels from the forest. All levels from the cave. All levels from the return. Complete all levels from story mode and see the end. Complete all easy levels from the memory chest. Oh, medium levels from the memory chest. All hard. <clears throat> Complete all levels from the memory chest. Get all the feathers from the game. 
all the feathers from the forest, all the feathers from the cave, all the feathers from the return, all the feathers from story mode. Get all feathers from the easy memory chest. Get all feathers from the medium memory chest. Get all feathers from the hard memory chest. Complete the last level from the forest without dying, last level of the cave without dying, last level of the return without dying, and two secret achievements. Hmm. <clears throat> Do I have a way to find out what the secret achievements are? Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Our secret achievements. You have visited the memory chest and you have visited the photo album. I was being facetious, Joe. Sorry. I know, I know you, I know that. The only problem I have with this game is when you try to go back to stuff, the game freezes. And I have to hard reset the game. So let's go visit that photo album and let's visit the memory chest. Photo album. What's in the photo album? Photos! So for every 10 we get a photo. Okay. Memory chest. Oh, you don't unlock memory chest until adventure mode is cleared. See, there's a mu there's music on the main screen, but there's no music during the rest of the game. Why? So we've gotten a third of the achievements now? Yeah, a third of the achievements. We did the whole first two worlds. I have no idea why. So, but yeah, um, we did pre-order the TurboGrafx-16. I'm going to play games from it. <clears throat> um, and we're going to still do races. Um, but we'll figure out, you know, how to do this stuff. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, though. I'm going to end the stream for a second. I want this to register... Hopefully it registers with move it correctly because we didn't have the title set properly at the start. Oops. Pro streamer and all that fun crap. But the VOD should stay properly with that as the title. So hopefully, you know. If not, we, maybe we'll come back and stream this game some more. But yes, this has been Emma, Lost in Memories. Um, thank you to Jandusoft for uh, providing the key for this game. I'll be right back. Um, we're going to do some changes and figure out something else to stream. So I'll be back in just a, a minute. Thanks for watching this one, though. Um, I think this was a fun game. Um, it's on sale right now. Um, it's normally 8 bucks. I think it's worth it. Uh, if you like a puzzle game, I think this is more puzzle than platformer, but I'm enjoying it for sure. Um, the, the, the jump timing, it takes a little bit to get used to, but I think the jump arcs are, they're consistent. Everything about the way Emma controls makes sense to me. So like, I don't have a problem with it. I think it's fun. So I'll be right back. Uh, just give me a minute and we'll pick out something else to play. Until then, goodbye.